Hey folks, Mike Disgrown Mechanic here today. Today what we're going to do is uh, show you how to manual how to change a tire with a Harbor Freight manual tire changer. Uh, it's been sitting here in my garage, not bolted to the floor for probably two to three years and uh, I just had to I just decided to put it into use because of a little mishap that I had. I'll show you the little mishap and then show you where I'm going to get the tire from and what I'm going to do. After I do that, we'll go to the tire changer, show you how I mounted it, and um, try and change a tire. Now, I've used it once or twice. I've had some luck with it. You may be lucky today. You may see me smack myself in the head with a bar or something like that. The way my luck's been going, I wouldn't doubt it. It slipped out of my hands once or twice when I was doing it, but maybe I'll be a little more efficient at it today. So let's go and show you where I'm getting the tire from and why I'm doing this. And then from there, we'll go and we'll change tire. What happened was the other day I was taking my utility trailer here for PA state inspection and a wide load came along and hit me. It crinkled that fender back like that from the way it hit me. It also, if you see the front tire there, we got a little little uh, divot in it there. Let me, uh, we did that to the front one. Um, and the back, the back one is laying up here, and that's what it did to the back one. So the, the tires, as you may see, were getting rather worn to begin with. They probably would have passed one more inspection, but I decided to fix this myself and change the tires. And that's what I'm going to do. Now this video here, like I said, is going to be on changing the tire. Uh, not that one. Uh, like I said, that rim's going to the to the to the graveyard. That one's going to be gone, gonzo. Um, but I ordered new rims, new tires. What we're going to do today is we're going to take a tire off. Uh, we're going to take a tire off the um, other side. And we're going to mount that with the changer. So we'll walk in here. I'll try to keep this as steady as possible. I don't like doing this. We'll go in here. And here is my Harbor Freight tire changer that's been sitting in my garage here unmounted for a while. So I decided it was time to bring her out and go to it. Now, here's all the parts to it. All I did was got concrete anchors, put them in. Yeah, I could have put them in a little deeper, a little closer. I know that, but it'll work for what I want. So we'll grab a, we'll take a tire off, and bring it in here, and take it off the rim, and put a new one on the rim, hopefully. Uh, you don't have to see, I don't think you have to see me jack my trailer up and take a tire off, because that's going to be the next move, and then I'll be back. I'm back, and... I just wanted to say I'm going to try and do my best. My garage is cluttered here. I will try and do the best I can to show you what I'm doing, but the other integral part of this whole process is this bar. You really need that. <laughs> so, first thing I'm going to do, leave the air out of my tire. Once the air out gets out of the tire, the other part of this is the air, as the air is getting out of the tire, is our bead breaker. That's where we're going to go next. That's certainly where you need your handle. So, let's put our deflated tire in here. Lift this up first, like I should have. Get your tire up there. Get her on your bead. Get her started on the rim there. I'm thinking maybe you guys can see that. Take your bar. Put it in here. Alright. Spin it around here to the other side. Make sure your beads broke all the way around on this side. 
Do the same to your other side. Catches the rim. Make sure she's broke all the way around. And then you're gonna throw her on your on here. Another thing handy to have is a welder because this part broke off. I had to make my own, so I'll weld it back together. So the next thing is to get your tire up on there. Get this in one of your lug holes. After you get the tire up there, get it in your lug thing. Next thing you want to do is get it as square as you can. And then you put your little hold down ring on. Spin this on. And the one thing I did find out with this is it's another good use of your bar. I've got this squished out. But uh, you want to get her tight or she'll travel. Squishes this ring out some because it's cheap. That's why I think I said earlier it's good to have a welder. If it breaks, it breaks. So the next thing you got to do is get, get this off its bead, which each part has its own, 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 uh, its own function. This is actually to take the bead off. This is to put it on. And you put it on with this end also. So let's see if we can get her in there and get her off with this end. Can't be afraid to get in there either, I found out. thing is if these are rims that you're really concerned about I tell you this probably isn't the tool to use yeah sucker's been in my rim son of a gun all right let's see if we can just that did bend my rim piece of crap so hard to get in here there's not enough groove on this. Like I said, you may see me kill myself yet. Let's try the other part here. I forget how I did this the last time. Once you get it up here and get it started, it isn't bad. side again.
know I'm right in the way of the camera, but that is a son of a gun tower. Get up out of there. There, I bet my room some more. Son of a bitch. Good thing the rims are only 35 bucks. Alright. That won't hurt anything, but boy, you certainly won't want to do that to a customer's vehicle. For me, this is for my trailer. I don't really care. They got bumps, rust, everything else on them, so no big deal. So let's try this again for the bottom. Well, it works much better when we use the other part, the thinner part. And just like that, me almost falling over, the hole works. There it is. When I'm mounting the tires, I use this true mount stuff and what this is for it's a lubricant for the tire sometimes it makes it a little too slippery but also if you can't form a bead this is a paste you can actually slap it in the top of the tire where you have too much of a gap between the tire and the rim and this crap will make that up and pop and it's reusable. The, 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 the schmutz will pop out here. And you just take it and throw it back in the bucket and you can reuse it. So all I'm going to do right now is put a little bit of this on the tire. Around our bead. I forget how expensive it was. I got the, I got it on Amazon, maybe eight dollars or something like that. I don't think it was too terrible bad. I honestly can't remember. I've had it for a while because, as I said at the beginning of the video, I hadn't used this tire changer yet. So we'll slap the tire on. Try to get the first side of the rim on. I'm sorry, the first side of the tire on. And then we'll go from there. Crap is slippery though. Man, oh man. So all I do is I try to right on. And that schmutz helped. I did the rim and all. So it actually helped that slide down. So now this other side, and like I said, if it's a customer's rims, somebody else's rims, rims you care about, you don't want to use this machine. I'll tell you that right now. But since I don't, it doesn't matter, I'm good. They're mine. So what I'm going to do next is, <clears throat> the reason I'm reiterating that is because I get vice grips for a tire hold on the one side. And I put them on there, that's going to hold my tire on that side. And then, as far as I can, I'm going to try and get this on by hand, or most of it. Should have my bar a little closer. Okay, that's as much as I'm gonna do. So what you gotta do is try to hold this side where you have it started and where it's on there. That has a flat side, a side that'll right here that'll fit on your rim. Take that down, put her in the tire on your rim. Plug her back. I only took little bites. Go here, another little bite. 
And then the last one, because I have the slippery schmutz on it, it's going to be a big bite. All right. Now, the other thing I realized is when you do this, if you don't get the tire squished down on the rim real far, try and leave it up as close to the rim as you can, it'll inflate pretty easily. What I normally do is with the guts out of your stem and your air chuck, put a little air into her and see if she lights up. Hmm. Well, my other one worked. Alright, I'm afraid I'm going to have to put the guts back in because this chuck needs the guts in to work. So we'll put the guts back in and hope she has enough pop. I, I think she does because it's so, the seal's so close up I think it'll be fine. But we'll see. If not, we got, we got the other ways to make it to work. Yep, she took her. And pop, snap, crackle, pop. There she is. I'm going to take these, this up to about 50 pounds. Okay, there she is at 49. I'm going to put a little squirt into it. Put this down. <clears throat> Loosen this up without hitting the camera stand. You guys got close to that. I almost got you. Take that off. Take the tire off. So there you have it. Today's installment. How to change a tire with a Harbor Freight manual tire changing machine. Just a few things. It is made cheap, which I'm just going to reiterate from the from the video. You want to be careful I bent the rims, part of that was my fault, the way I was doing it, I only did one or two, but they were my rims, no biggie. If you have good rims and good tires, you may not want to use this. I haven't used it on aluminum or anything, but I'm sure it's going to scratch them and you're going to have a problem, there's no doubt in my mind. So with saying that, we got a tire changed, next thing we're going to do is try and get this fender straightened out. Um, so this is the episode of watch Mike trip fall almost fall on his ass but you know all that happens thank you cluttered garage it makes it interesting I can't hardly stuff any more shit in here if you look around but with saying all that I want to thank you for watching and if you would if you like my videos subscribe on YouTube disgruntled mechanic and once again this is Mike the disgruntled mechanic saying if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Thanks again for watching.